Hey ladies, this is Linda Faithchick777 and I'm coming up out of my scrapbooking uh, fiesta to take a little breather and show you some more projects that I've been doing for the Christmas Craft Bazaar that will be going on this weekend, December 2nd and 3rd, so I'm glad to finally be almost finishing up because I'd like to take a break, believe it or not. I'd like to take a break from scrapbooking. So let's get started. I'm going to show you a couple of things that I've done. Hopefully they'll give you a little bit of inspiration to do your own ideas. So I want to show you a couple of more candy items that I made. I've told you how I like to do some um, real inexpensive um, candy items. So this first one I've done is this one. These hold um, peppermint patties, and I bought these little paper cups from the Dollar Tree. Of course, crinkly little um, glittery ribbon on it and a button, cute little country button, um, a bell, put um, this clear you know, gift wrap over it, little bell or little crinkly ribbon, and then inside it hosts four peppermint patties. Let me see if I can kind of show you. You can see them nestled in there. Four peppermint patties. And each of the peppermint patties are sandwiched between two of these little um, scallop circles. They don't all have quotes on them, but they're all decorative paper with the scallop um, punch. And so each one is nestled between two of them like a little sandwich. And so then on the tag says, I think you're an absolute mint. You get the pun, peppermint patty, you're an absolute mint. So there's a cute little gift idea. You know, like I said, all wrapped in cellophane paper. That's the word I was looking for earlier. So that's a fun little candy idea. Um, another candy idea, you guys uh, know how I like to recycle. So this is my other uh, candy idea. Again, wrapped in cellophane paper. What I buy here is the little hard peppermint candies. And then inside this cute little wrapper. And then I, you know, um, did a little um, Santa stamp, little stickles on the mustache and the little pom-pom on the hand hat. And then, you know, stamped a little um, Merry Christmas circle stamp around it. And then on the end, I did the curly ribbon. And then there's a little quote. I have different quotes, but this one says, One should be allowed to have as much candy as one wants. Now, the recycle part. This round tube, ladies, it's a toilet paper roll. So save your toilet paper rolls, decorate them up all cute, stuff your little candies in. You can do kisses or something, but I like to do the red uh, peppermint candies, and then I do like a red or green paper, so it just looks like traditional Christmas colors, and then wrap them in the cellophane paper. Now the hard part, until you get the flow of getting them wrapped, is holding all this in your hand, all your candies inside your toilet paper roll, candy sticking out here and trying to wrap the cellophane paper around it. You know, like I said, you'll get your flow, and once you get one or two down, it goes really quick. But, you know, just cinch up the ends. And so there is a cute little candy gift. Toilet paper roll. So, hope that gives you an idea. And remember the last video I showed you of some of the projects I was working on? I showed you a couple of packaging ideas for snowman earrings. One was just a cute little, just the set of earrings themselves with a cute little topper, you know, Christmas topper on it. And one was um, earrings and kisses in a cute um, handmade box. Well, I didn't want to make too many of those boxes because they do take time. So what I did is combined the element of the one package of just the Christmas earrings with all the stuff in the Christmas box into just this package. It's easier. It's double layer in bags, two little um, Ziploc bags. The top is the snowman earrings. The bottom is kisses in um, with that little um, iridescent crinkly um, paper in there and then a cute little tag on top. Now the tag says snowflakes warm our snow friends warm our hearts with snowflake kisses. Let me say that again, not trying to be all jumbled. Snow friends warm our hearts with snowflake kisses. Get it? Kisses? I know it's cute, huh? Well I made up this little quote so I just I wanted something to go with earrings or snow friends and kisses. So snow friends warm our hearts with snowflake kisses. So there's my other packaging idea on that. And then I kind of did something for kids for like a stocking stuffer. Moms can or dads, of course, can put in their stocking. And most of the stuff I bought last year after Christmas, so you get it half price. And this is just a triple layer um, 
kind of a fun bag and I on the front I put like a little candy cane and a jingle bell well the bottom layer is a little color activity book with some um, four pack of crayons coloring crowns the middle layer is just a little cute like snowman blank notepad that they can draw on and then the top layer is just a cute little um, like a pinball game on that top one Okay, and then the little tag, I made up this little quote because I was trying to do a pun on kids and math. So one gift plus one hug to you. Isn't that cute? I know, it's so cute. One gift plus one hug to you. A little math for the kids, huh? So anyway, I made up this cute little thing to go into the stockings. And then let's see. The third thing I did, remember ladies, I've been talking about, and we've all bought them, those little um, tubes at Michael's for a dollar, those long rectangular round uh, boxes. And I talked to you in one of my haul videos, I don't know how long ago, about how I was going to make um, Santa boxes with them where it has paper and stuff inside where kids can write like their letters to Santa. So this is what I've come up with. So you remember the little round boxes, these little round two boxes you can get for a dollar says Santa on it. Now these actually come with like a ribbon that wraps around it, but I didn't like that because it kind of went through the Santa. So I made my own little holes and added elastic closure. And I got that idea from the dollar, like the little dollar square boxes you can buy at Michael's. They come within a little elastic closure. So I just made my own. And then I added the um, handle on it. And so that way these could be hung on the tree or maybe on a stocking holder that sits on your fi fireplace, one of those stocking holders. Um, I drilled holes in the side and added rope. And then hanging off the side, I did like one of those little ornament hangers from Dollar Tree, Jingle Bell. And then it says on this little letter, all I want for Christmas. And everything that I say, it was it's all hand sewn and distressed all the edges. And then inside, if you open the little tube, inside is a Christmas, let me get my out of the way here, a little Christmas pencil, okay? And then I did a rolled up, like a scroll, a little rolled up um, notepad, and I even sewed the paper to stress the edges so that they can write their little letter to Santa. So that's what I was talking about however many eons ago. And when I drilled the holes, I'll show you all I did. You can see it right there. I just knotted the inside to hold the string in. So that is my little letter to Santa box. Little letter to Santa box. Little, yeah, little letter to Santa box, right? So anyway, I just think it would be so cute hanging off the Christmas tree or like I said, off of one of those ornament, those stocking holders or something on the fireplace. All I want for Christmas. So there's that idea. And then, uh, you know, ladies, how you can go, um, you can buy those little mug gifts that gives you all the dry ingredients. And then you add like your egg and your oil and all that. And you mix it all together and put it back in the mug and bake it in the oven. And you have like a mug of hot bread or a cookie or a brownie. So I took my cue from that and I made this cute little um, bread pail. What I did is I got um, these uh, little aluminum pans from Walmart. Comes like five to a package for a dollar or something. Added cute little ribbon and a button. And then I added wire for a handle. And off the handle I did my little ripped fabric and a little jingle bell. And on this side I added like a snowflake. And I found these cute little mini spatulas at Dollar Tree. And then inside um, as you can see, a lot of crinkly paper. Here's the recipe card. I've chosen to do chocolate chip banana bread, and it's you know has all the whole recipe on there. Of course, even though I've included the dry ingredients, I still list the dry ingredients on here because they may want to make it again or something. I added a note on top. I made sure that I added a note that says, "Please be sure to remove the decorative handle, ribbon, and button from the outer part of the pan." before you bake your bread. So, you know, because they're going to mix everything up, place it back in this pan and put this pan in the oven. And then inside of that, I have included um, a cute little packaging. These are little mini chocolate chips. And then this packaging is the flour, the sugar, and the baking soda. And I like to put all the ingredients on here so people, you know, with allergies, they know what they're getting and make sure they don't buy something that they can't use or as give as a gift to someone that you know can't use it so anyway all nestled back in here and I've got my cute little bread pan pail with the recipe card so there's that cute little idea 
Oopsie. I got to get it packaged back in there a good bit. Wanted to take it out to show you gals. Okay, so there's that idea. So I'll move this over here. Uh, my last video, I talked about how I made a bunch of journals and I had one uh, journal left for um, notes that you take like in church or if you're reading your Bible or something like that. This is my last journal. I didn't have it done to show you. So this is the journal. It says, His grace is sufficient for me. And then I have a little love charm hanging off and a large paper clip and a little key. And then over here on the side, I've just done some lace and the skeleton leaves from Iron Roses and some leaf trim. A little ribbon um, trim, flower trim, little butterfly. Um, I distressed all the edges on it, of course. So there is, this is, I made like four of them, different colors. And then there's a little bookmark included with it. A little pen. So you can take your notes during church or as you're reading your Bible and you want to make some notes. So this is my little church journal, I call it. And then the other thing that I did, do you remember, ladies, a while back, one of my Goodwill hauls, I found this cute little sign. They were $2.99, and I was going to just revamp them and redecorate them. So here's what I've come up with. I did three of them. Now, I made all these three individual, but if someone came along and wanted to buy them as a set, they could. It definitely goes together. So this is the first one. It says, Love You More on it. I included um, my... Um, handle hardware. I love to include the cabinet handles, as you gals know. And then, you know, flowers, um, I am Rose's flowers and butterflies and a little uh, key there, a little heart locket. This is transparency. It is a stamp. I've done that on all of them. I stamped a different stamp on each one, a transparency. And then it says, love you more. And over here, a little bit more um, cabinet hardware on there, some lace. This is all I stamped like the outer edges and then I used that Tim Holtz clear rock um, crackle paint just to give it just a real fine crackling. So there's that one. And this one says always you. Always you. It's kind of hard with that. There we go. That way the light doesn't shine on it. Always you. Same thing over here. Little adore tag. Some little charms. Keys. Same kind of concept. Lace over here. Each of the tags are all distressed and let me get it up to the camera. I even sewed each the tags, the paper, sewed them individually. What I did is I didn't want one strip of paper. I did three, three different um, papers on this whole um, plaque, I guess you could say. And then I added like a Tim Holtz on this one and a little rose in the center with the ribbon. Always you. And then here's my cabinet handle hardware on top. Okay, and then the last one, because I only did three, I purchased four, and the one I showed you at the beginning with nothing done with it's going to be mine. And in this way, I turned up into a portrait form. There's my cabinet hardware, again, stamping around the edges, little script stamp. This one says Forever Us with the key down into, you know, the little roses, heart charm, a little um, Tim Holtz coupon and then more cabinet hardware with lace so forever us that hangs this way so there's those three things and I think these are let me look real quick if you go in um, landscape mode these are six inches tall and 12 inches across and I'm you know landscape this way six inches by 12 so that's all how big the sign is and then I've done some love letters, um, individual letters, and I buy and um, um, decorated them, you know, put them together. We've all done it. This one says love. And what I like to do since I layer them, I nail. I actually nail the, um, this one's moving because it's only by one nail. I actually nail them together so that when someone wants to set it down, it'll stand up and they're not going to fall over. They're not, you know, that way it stays together as a unit. But this one, um, they all have kind of the same elements, a little XO. These are wooden letters got from Michaels. And then this behind it is a transparency that I've made off my computer. It's my own little design. It says cherish, eternal, beautiful, together, forever. And up here is like a little, this is like a little quote for cherish. Let me get it up a little closer. There we go. Made that myself. And I snuggle it between the letter and the paper so there's no edges shown. 
here. And then I did a little quote and all the papers I, um, you know, roughened the edges and everything, distressed it. And I sewed, I actually, you know, I did my sewing machine on those. So it's all hand sewn, um, crackled a little flower, added lace. So there's this, this love one. And then there's this other one I did. I had four, but I only, I only did two of them this time because I'm just got too many things and not enough time to get it all done in. So there's this loved one here. Same basic concept, just a few little different elements thrown in. This is another um, little wooden heart from Michaels added on the end of it. Again, the back, everything's all nestled nice and done, finished. So there's that, love letters. And, oh, okay, another recycle project. I went up to our recycle place and I looked in the glass bin because I was looking for jars because I wanted to make some kind of like bath salts, cute little gift. So someone must have just had a party, ladies, because when I got there, there must have been about 20 of those Crown Royal whiskey bottles. And I didn't know what I was going to do with them, so I only grabbed four. Well, now that I figured out a design, I'm kicking myself because I should have grabbed like 10. But here is what I did with it. I took it after a vintage Paris theme. You can see the bottle. There's the bottle, Crown Royal whiskey bottle, believe it or not. I did a little Paris theme here. I put like a little tag of that I printed from the internet of a little Paris lady. A couple of them I'm going to do with this with the little bird I'm going to show you. And then a couple of them I'm going to do. I actually downloaded some Audrey Hepburn um, photos. I think it's going to look really beautiful. She's kind of dressed in like a, a French um, Paris dress. And I think it's going to look real pretty next to what I've got here, which is a, a die cut of Eiffel Tower. And this is a Tim Holtz die cut and a Tim Holtz bird cage and bird die cut. Both that I got from Jewels at the Jewel Box. Because, yes, ladies, I do not, I will say it again, do not have a die cut machine. I know it. I should because I'm always constantly learning die cuts from Jewels. But she was kind enough, enough to whisk these um, Eiffel Towers and get them cut out for me for the craft bazaar. And these I got some time ago from her as um, a little gift. So... Put those to good use. I added like a skeleton leaf and a little feather here with some leaf trim, little rosette trim. Here's a little crinkly ribbon with some pearls. And then on the back, I did a butterfly and um, a feather. I think on my next ones, and I put it on pattern paper, I'm not going to put the pattern paper on there. I'm just going to allow you to see through the glass because inside that you can't see real well, I've got bath beads and these dissolvable roses. So if someone, you know, wanted to, of course, have, use it for a bath, um, all that dissolves. Now the roses, you got to really squish them and get them inside the bottle. So those weren't going to really be able to come out. They can shake out the bath beads, but once all the bath beads are gone, they're going to have to add a little liquid into the bottle to dissolve the roses, and then they can pour the liquid into the bathtub. So, but here's the top. I did a little lace trim. I just painted the, the top right here camouflage the crown royal bottle and in the beads and stuff that are inside bath beads from the dollar tree little bottle of bath beads and in these little um roses dissolvable roses that you can get from the dollar tree they come in a package of nine little roses that i shoved in there so there's another recycle project ladies my crown royal bath beads bottle all paris influenced so there's an idea for you. I think it's just really pretty, really fun. I actually got a lady at work that's already ordered one because, you know, it's different, but I go, I recycled. Proud of myself. And the one last thing I want to show you, it's going to be really quick. Um, and this idea, ladies, I did not think of myself. Believe me, I saw it in a magazine, and I just kind of revamped it to my own style, of course, as we all do. Um, but it's an advent calendar using a mini muffin tin. And what you do is like Walmart has those 24 count mini muffin pins for like $4.50. Um, you're going to see my tag taped to the top, so it's not pretty. But then what I did is you can see all the different, you know, to count down to day number 24, night before Christmas. And then inside, and the, what there is is magnets on the back. See the magnets so that they stick to the muffin tin. I know it's not enough wide angle from my camera here. So here, magnet. I'll show you a little quicker. And then 
sticks to the muffin tin. And then inside, as you can see the little holder, it's just perfect enough for like the size of something like a Hershey's Kiss. And then I have made these cute little scallop tags that have um, little quotes on them. Like, blessed be the name of the Lord. So you put like a, um, you know, or praise God or something like that. You put like a candy kiss in and a little quote in each one of those. So every day you get a little inspirational saying and a little chocolate candy. So, and that's using, turn it over here so you can see the 24 count muffin tins. Like I said, only about 450. Let me get this back on. Anyway, and then I usually set it up in like one of those picture frame holders. And you can make it landscape or portrait so there's another idea ladies anyway it's back to crafting i have just a few days left so thank you for spending your time with me and i hope you got a little inspiration and i'll see you next time after the craft bazaar is over bye ladies